Force like to ski. Oh, you trying to scrap? You a bore? Now I'm sleepy. Got about the shell. Now I'm free at last. Try to get the kid killed. Ain't no plan B for that. Yeah, no, I'm bringing hell with my evil laugh. Only competition was myself, and I beat his ass. I'm a boo like a tough crowd. Get you crushed now. Act a fool, cause I'm dumb down. Going dumb now. What it do? I'm just one child, but I'll run down on your crew and get up wild. So what's up now? Only came to bring pain and assist you in dying. This anger and rage with the fist when I'm striking. Just make way when I create straight violence. The place ain't safe for the kid called Dyphus. Hey, welcome back, YouTube. I am your host, the King Shadow. Welcome to another show of No Excuse Reaction. Now, this reaction is going to be a little bit different. I ain't doing the usual relationship shit or, you know, the funny shit. I'm going to give y'all some pretty knowledge that no one really going to know right now. I do. Unless you got the extra on top. So, I am going to piece some things together for you. Now, I do have a channel I do be watching called Security Team 10, ran by Tyler. Now, I already did a video on one of his things, and uh, he does good research, okay? He don't just take the word of motherfuckers that just come out and say, ooh, look, alien, okay? No, he does the research, you feel me? He has to get a lot of stories, a lot of corroborations and shit, you feel me? And he called witnesses, he does research, you feel me? That's why I watch his ass, he does the research, you feel me? Do the footwork, you get somewhere, you feel me? So, he had two videos that popped up. I know no one knows that they coexist. Now, see, I already pieced uh, what was going on a while ago when there was a news in the news, NASA news, science news, all that shit. You check it out. I think he even mentions it in the clip. But if you check it out, when they sent a couple probes to Mars and shit, and they have a lot of equipment around Mars, monitoring Mars and shit, because that's the new objective now. So, they registered to underground massive explosions. Not quakes, explosions. Okay? Then, they noticed that Mars has underground caverns filled with ice watch it okay. much like our planet it has a lot of caverns interconnecting networks into the crust and the outer layer of it it's core you know what I'm saying so Mars is not that far off from like our planet okay it's a desert planet because the atmosphere wasn't like ours now here's the fun part people okay Someone's kicking in the overdrive for a week and come up there. Someone is actually doing some extra, extra work, okay? Now, well, I don't know who's exactly doing it. I can't give you details, details, and then I'm not even sure if I'm privy to say something without getting a visit by somebody, okay? So, <laughs> I won't keep it on a little <laughs> mystery, mystery on there, but I'm going to show you the evidence that he presents. And I'm going to link it for you because all of this coincides because when Mars passed this as it's going through its adjustments and shit. Yeah. So first thing first, check this out. Related news where it has just been discovered by a space agency belonging to the UAE or United Arab Emirates and what they dubbed their Hope Mars mission team has reported that a spacecraft that they launched out to monitor Mars and make discoveries has indeed already fulfilled its purpose in this new discovery of what is being called a quote new mysterious Martian Aurora and there are multiple 
multiple news articles on this. I'll cycle through here. UAE's Hope spacecraft discovers mysterious new aurora on Mars. Mars probe discovers shocking new aurora, calling it shocking. UAE's Hope probe discovers huge worm-like aurora on the red planet. And these articles go on and on. And so basically what you're seeing here in this image would typically be something you would see above Earth or in satellite or, or video imagery happening above our planet. And it's pretty standard and typical stuff where on Earth during certain times we will have these beautiful hundreds or even thousands of miles long green glowing sort of zigzagging clouds. An aurora, for those of you who don't know, and specifically what is Earth's aurora? Aurora. Well, it's also known as the polar lights and is a natural light display in the Earth aurora well it's also known as the polar lights and is a natural light display in the earth's atmosphere predominantly seen in high latitude regions especially around the arctic and the antarctic so you'll just have these beautiful usually green in color light shows and we have seen these occur on other planets out in space like jupiter and saturn for instance but we've never really seen one quite this strange and shocking as was quoted this hope probe has discovered a huge shocking enigmatic worm-like aurora on the red planet just yesterday on april 27th out of dubai new images of this mystery glowing atmospheric lights over mars known as discrete auroras were released by the emirates mars mission or emm the pictures taken by the orbiting hope probe provided a quote new series of revolutionary observations and new questions about the mysterious martian planet and its atmosphere along with its magnetic fields now this big green worm apparently is giant it's like nothing we've ever seen before and you know they call it a worm because that's what it looks like and it spans thousands of miles from the daylight side of planet mars all the way to the nighttime side so we are talking a planet spanning aurora on a planet that supposedly has almost no atmosphere yet again uh, we've shown on this channel that many of the martian photographs that first came out showed blue skies with clouds and dust storms much like on earth and when you're looking at this main image here it, it's just amazing we've never seen anything like this and so it brings up questions further questions that i've had about mars for years now which is that it is much more active than we are being told by NASA, otherwise known as never a straight answer, or never admitting space anomalies. Take your pick, but one thing is for certain, which is that this so-called discrete Martian aurora was a, quote, shocking discovery, who said that, quote, in many ways it had us scratching our heads and going back to the drawing board. Another thing to note that I discovered while researching into this is that right around the same time that this story broke, also published within the last 24 hours, hours was the fact that there were two giant earthquakes or Mars quakes as they're called that completely rocked the far side of Mars and as you're seeing in this report the new seismic events are the largest Mars quakes to ever be recorded now isn't that a coincidence that we have a giant green worm-like cloud spanning the entire planet and then right at the same time nasa's mars quake hunting lander detected two of the largest seismic events to date and on the far side of the planet no less NASA's InSight lander touched down on Mars in November 2018, carrying the most sensitive seismometer ever designed to detect earthquakes or Mars quakes, huge rumblings under the soil. And since the mission's arrival, it has detected countless events dubbed Mars quakes using signals to map the planet's interior. But the two newly announced quakes were something special, according to scientists on the mission. They said, quote, not only are they the largest and most distant events by a considerable margin these mars quakes have a spectrum and duration unlike any other event previously observed on mars 
So something major happened on Mars, something deep underground, major event, never seen anything like it before or detected, let alone on the far side of the planet. Then we have this massive green planet spanning aurora, again, something we've never seen. And so something strange is happening with Mars, guys, but. What I tell you, boy does good work, okay? You don't just jump over one story or what an email tell him and shit. You know, he goes and search around a bit, get some some extra information. But as you see, it was a big issue in the science community. You feel me? A big thing. Now, what people don't understand is for the last, I want to say, three years, some quakes and explosions from surface to inner on Mars has been happening. It's just shortly after they found the water. Okay, and now the magnetized field of the planet has changed. Now understand this, okay? I'm gonna give you some real bioscience right here, okay? <laughs> Don't let me lose you, okay? Peel, peel, turn everything else off. Hey, 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 turn that shit off. Okay, listen to me. For a planet to restart, you know what I'm saying? For us to live on it anyway to get it to it must be terraformed. Okay? That's like if an alien came to our planet. You know you've seen the movie. If an alien came to our planet, they try to terraform it to make it more like theirs for they can roam around here and fuck with us. Okay? We would do the same thing to another planet. We would try to terraform it, but we can have more oxygen instead of wearing big ass bulky suits doing this. <laughs> get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, understand that Mars is getting terraformed. Now Mars wasn't all that, all the way that fucked up. Okay, now that's why I need you to believe something else. It, it wasn't. It's not all the way fucked up. It just it went through a hard time beforehand already. But that was thousands and thousands of years ago. That's why it's a desert planet. You feel me? Now the changes need to be changed to make it a planet habitable like ours, where you're gonna have plant life, animal life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yes, it has a green aurora borealis like ours because the magnetized field of the planet has changed. You get what I'm saying now? It's more like ours. You feel me? Our magnetized field, as he explained, We'll explain soon that filters out all the extra bullshit radiation that comes from the sun. The sun is a big ass giant fireball of power. Okay? And I'm talking about power. <laughs> radiation, gamma, all that shit. There is so much different kind of power coming out that motherfucker. Okay? But that power is also life energy. Okay? Now, for our planet, our atmosphere helps filter out the negative shit. Even though we still get a lot of radiation, you feel me? You sit your ass out in the sun, you will cook. You feel me? You sit your ass out in the sun and sunbathe every day, you will develop cancer, okay? That's radiation, <laughs> okay? But we have grown to tolerate certain levels of radiation because our planet keeps it at a certain level, okay? Mars has got that basically, <laughs> Mars got a butt lift, you feel me? And some Botox, okay? And a little face lift, you get what I'm saying? It is trying to come back. And someone's kicking that shit in the overdrive. Now here's the link. The next video I'm gonna give you is the more recent one. That one's like actually three months ago, but the one I'm about to give you is more recent, okay? This one is gonna blow your mind because this is the link that I'm telling you that's gonna up jump from terraforming for thousands of years to a couple decades. You know what I'm saying? All right, so check this video out and then I'll come back and link it to you.
Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So I am actually at the beach right now on vacation with the family, but I wanted to get a video up and this notification seemed just right to me and it popped up on my phone and I've done videos on this before and it's been a while, but as you can see, as reported by LiveScience.com among others, there is a giant sunspot and we'll get to what a sunspot is and what this means in a minute, but a giant sunspot has doubled in size in just the past 24 hours and it's pointing straight at earth how do you like that and earth will remain in the sunspots crosshairs for a few more days now from what i've read here the sunspot that has appeared on our sun directly pointed at us has grown to a size that is twice of this planet so it's the size of two earths with a diameter ranging of around 20,000 miles and so some of you that may be new to the channel or you just need to be reminded in short a sunspot and especially massive ones like this they appear as darker areas on the suns hence the name sunspot and so these massive areas are regions of intense and complicated magnetic fields that can produce what are known as solar flares, otherwise known as the simpler term CMEs or coronal mass ejections. So basically we have our sun that starts to develop these massive dark sunspots that are created and made up of magnetic fields and plasma until like a volcano they erupt producing solar flares, which are these bursts of high energy radiation and plasma sent flying out into space. And sometimes these eruptions or coronal mass ejections are aimed directly at planet Earth. And typically when they do hit Earth, thanks to our own planet's magnetic field, we really don't feel the effects of it. Maybe some radio transmission problems, cell phone signals may go in and out, and possibly some internet and cable TV disruptions that last for up to a couple of hours. And so sunspots and solar flares are an everyday occurrence currents but there are also sizes and levels to a solar flare much like there are earthquakes here on planet earth some are very small some are powerful enough it could mean total lights out for the entire planet or at least part of the planet sending us back to the 1700s having fried the entire electricity grid of the entire country or the entire planet which i've heard could take up to five to ten years for us to restore said energy grid the fact all right there you go okay gigantor sunspot on the sun pointing directly at our butt cheeks okay now people you understand now why it's gotten so fucking hot here okay last couple weeks been sweating in cali bay <laughs> so as i'm trying to get at y'all is this sunspot this big giganto one he, he's talking about if that fires off and pops us we're gonna lose all the signal and stuff but now i ain't do no serious calculations on this but i just did some fast math on a lot of it we are coming down to a time soon that mars is going to be between us and the sun you know what i'm saying so at this juncture it's come to my knowledge with the planet changing mars changing the way it is if that sun, gigantic sunspot flashes on mars instead of us understand that jumps the whole terraforming process entirely on mars we'll be seeing a whole lot more changes on mars if that shit hits mars get wrong to you. okay because hey every planet has magnetized fields as you saw in the clips before jupiter saturn you know little blue fields you know what i mean you see them a little tiny because those planets don't have atmosphere to hold us in you know hold shit in it was more like gas bombs you know what i mean tiny but big you know what i'm saying but with everything that's going on right now if that energy and he hits the planet as it's doing this transformation. Boom. 
that flash fries the ice that brings the ice to steam pop 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 boom Psh. atmosphere baby atmosphere why you think there been so much earthquakes mars been loosening the butt cheeks where those ice vents can be opened up why do you think there was an explosion inside of Mars a long time ago when we found the ice? Okay? It all adds up. It's calculated shit. Okay? Now, I didn't even fuck with, fuck with y'all niggas' heads about, you know, shit being around the sun, sucking energy from the sun and doing shit to the sun. I'm not trying to scare motherfuckers. Okay? Because that's a whole nother level of shit. I'm pretty sure no one in my lesson is going to even figure that, uh, yeah, y'all would think crazy shit after that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to blow your brains out. But this one right here, this is science, okay? Straight science. But it's happening on a grand scale. Who the fuck is doing that? Hey, I know we ain't getting no noose up there to blow shit up like that. Nah, well. Right. <laughs> I don't say this shit is funny. Do your research, okay? You know, pick up a book. You know what I mean? There's a lot of shit in history and, and a lot of shit the government don't want to tell us. Just on the fact that they think you're fucking stupid. And the way things have been going in society right now, they ain't that far off. That's why they tell you the way they tell you. Everybody knows the truth already. The disclosure already happened. You feel me? Everybody already knows the truth. But you don't believe it because they put it in plain sight and disguised it. So this is my video here. Two videos of his. I don't even think he made the connection. I'm gonna tag him in this. He gonna, might do a video off of this. <laughs> You're welcome, Tyler. But yes. That sunspot, if that shit hits Mars, ultra motherfucking terraform. Hey, I hope I'm alive when Mars is ready to get over there. I like to see a Mars beach. Yay! You feel me? Total recall, bitch. Without your eyes blowing up. <laughs> yeah. But it's my video today, yo. Later day, yo.